Um, well, astronomer, an astronomer's job is to um, explore questions and try to answer questions about the nature of, of the universe. So part of our job is just to think about what, what's an interesting question um, and then to propose um, an experiment. In our case, it's usually some sort of observation of, of something up in the sky and that we want to uh, get more information about. And then we can put that together with some sort of theory, what we think might be going on. Um, for example, how stars form. We make observations and then see if those observations agree with or disagree with our idea of how stars may form. Uh, together with that, those, those two components, we can uh, form a better idea then of what's really happening. And then astronomers usually like to publish those results in a journal so that other astronomers can read about those things. And then they can use that information uh, to, to pose the next set of questions uh, and help them form the next set of questions that, uh, that will you know, continue to, to build on our knowledge base. So astronomy generally just has everything to do with things beyond the atmosphere of, of the Earth. Um, so there are many different areas, many different fields uh, that can be explored, uh, but that's that's basically what I strong. I study uh, a subfield uh, within an area called extragalactic astronomy, uh, which just basically means things beyond our own Milky Way galaxy. And my interest is in galaxies that contain um, supermassive black holes, uh, trying to understand how those black holes form there in the first place. Um, Detecting them is, is, is one of the big challenges of, of this, this field, trying to figure out which galaxies harbor these black holes. And then understanding how the black hole uh, affects the galaxy itself, how the black hole uh, grows over time as it's feeding on the surrounding material. Uh, so some of the observations that I've used to study questions relating to supermassive black holes in, in um, galaxies is to look at uh, visible wavelength light, but they also are very bright at high energy wavelengths like x-rays, so a lot of our data comes from x-ray telescopes. And then because they also contain a lot of dust, we can observe them in the infrared and near-infrared wavelengths as well. So we have to use a lot of different kinds of light uh, to, to kind of probe these objects uh, because they're rare and usually the galaxies that we're looking at are, are far enough away that they're, they're faint. So we need large telescopes um, and lots of different wavelengths of light to study those questions. Uh, as a career, I think I really was planning to be an astronomer since I was young. In fact, that's sort of common, I think, among astronomers, that many, many of us became interested in astronomy when we were kids. And we may not have really thought it would be a career choice, you know, when you're in the fifth grade, but uh, if, if it's something that you really enjoy, uh, through the years of academic study, uh, you realize that you're drawn to those subjects uh, of math and physics, and, and if you're still interested in astronomy, as you, be, you know, get into college, there are a lot of opportunities to study. So for me, I just continued on that path uh, through high school, college, studying physics, and then into graduate school uh, to get the PhD in astronomy. Um, and I realized that's really what I wanted to do. Uh, most of the time, though, we don't really get a chance to see what astronomers do, though, until we get into college. In high school, we're just learning about astronomy, uh, but then when we get into college, we can try to see what what research in astronomy is like, and that, that's probably when people decide whether or not they really want to do it, is if they like that, that part of it. <laughs> Free time, um, hmm. <laughs> well, that's probably different, I guess it's a different answer for all different astronomers. Uh, I have a family, so most of my free time is occupied with, uh, with my children, I have two sons, so I spend a lot of time uh, now helping with homework and uh, taking them to different things, but we spend a lot of time together. Of course, my husband's also an astronomer, so I always joke that my kids think that it's a very common profession to be an astronomer. <laughs> Everybody they know seems to be one, um, but uh, we like to spend uh, some time doing things. We even have a telescope at home that sometimes we take the kids we're outside and show them some of the things in the sky so that they can start to get an interest um, as well. I don't know that they'll want to be astronomers, but you never know. <laughs>